Are you struggling to eat on the bike? Do you find yourself having to pull over on the side of the road to refuel? If this sounds like you, then have no fear, because in this video, we're going to share with you a few tips to get you eating on the go with ease. So stay tuned, especially if you're hungry, which I always am. Eating on the bike is an essential skill to master because it allows you to keep those fuel levels topped up as you're riding, making sure you've got the right amount of energy so you don't start to fatigue, you can enjoy your riding and also perform better. If you are starting to struggle to eat on the bike, what do you do? Here are some tips. Right, let's start off with some practical tips and storing your food. Most of us will ride in a cycling jersey that has three pockets at the back and they're designed to store things in. So that's probably the first place you're gonna think of if you're taking food on the bike is to pop some food into those pockets. Yeah, now if you've never seen a jersey like this, it's pretty simple, as Manon said, three pockets on the back. Some will come with kind of a zipped pocket as well for valuables so you're sure things aren't gonna fall out. But actually these are a really secure place to store your items and your food and quite an ideal place too to reach behind and grab things on as you're riding. But it's not the only place you can store things whilst you're cycling. Some people though, including myself, like to use a handlebar bag or frame bag to store their food. And if you're doing this, it actually gives you way more space to be able to carry what you need. So you're not having to kind of cram everything into pockets and then get a little confused as to where things are because it's all mixed up because you don't have a whole load of space there. There's enough, but not a huge amount, especially for a long ride. Personally, I prefer a handlebar bag. You can kind of fit everything in here. And also, if you have these elasticated pockets on the side, it makes it really easy to just one-handed get your food, see what you're getting as well, and then eat it. So away from the handlebar bag, as I said, you've got your frame bag here, which is really voluminous, actually. You can get loads in there which is really good if you're doing a really long ride. Um, it's a little trickier, I find, to get food from here than in the handlebar bag, especially from these elasticated pockets. Still pretty simple as you're riding. You can easily look down, ride, do what you're doing, and when safe to do so, get your hand in, take some food out, and zip up on the go with just one hand. Now, as I said, this is a really large bag, so you might not need that amount of space. And in that case, there's other smaller frame bags that you can use something like this really handy so this would fit right on top your top tube here you can cram quite a lot of kind of gels bars and um, chews and food in there um, it's a smaller bag so you're not going to have as much weight on your bike and it's still really accessible too and um, the other thing is is this kind of this is more of a bottle bag um, i like to call them kind of like a donkey sack <laughs> because it's like, it's, like, it's like what donkeys eat when they're in the stable. But these are really cool as well because they, they strapped your handlebars there, they're out of the way, and you can really get a lot in there. It's really, really easy to get food out of here. You don't have to unzip anything. It's literally like having a donkey sack, a donkey muzzle bag filled with food right on your bag, so on your bike. So if you are, if you are struggling to eat, definitely consider something like this. Remember though, you are still gonna need to ride comfortably one-handed. So this is the first thing you need to practice. If you don't have any bags on your bike and you wanna use your back pockets, here are some tips to make life easier. Firstly, I think it's a good idea if you're using your back pockets to store food, to kind of have a designated pocket for your snacks. So for me, that's my right pocket. It's on the side, it's easier to access. I feel more comfortable and confident using my right hand off the bars and reaching in to find food and I know every time it's going to be there I'm not reaching into all different pockets trying to find where I've put things and then away from that I kind of store heavier items like maybe some mechanical tools or a phone in the middle of my pocket so it doesn't offset my jersey. You can also get lycra shorts that have pocket in the side so that gives you another option of somewhere to store your food but the point we're trying to make is make sure you put your food somewhere where it's really easily accessible for you. So you've got lots of options from bags to in your pockets or in your shorts. You want to keep your food simple, easy to consume and easy to unwrap. You want to avoid foods, some of the obvious ones like crisps, sandwiches, cakes like Victoria's sponge. Instead, you could maybe opt for something like this, a carb chew from Precision Fuel and Hydration 
30 grams of carbs, it gets the job done. But you could also have some real foods. You could have, you know, things that a cyclist love, flapjack, rice cakes. But if you are, you know, making them and packing yourself, have a think about what you're packing them in to put in your back pocket or the bags on your bike. Maybe something like greaseproof paper would be ideal. It's easy to unwrap as well, instead of using something like cling film, which would be an absolute nightmare to unwrap on the bike. Gels are also winners, in my opinion, because they are super easy to consume. They're really good to digest. You haven't got to chew anything in your mouth. They're really easy to store, and you can eat them with one hand on the bike. We really hope you find these tips useful, but I think the key thing here is practice and keeping on practicing until you're comfortable with eating on the bike on the go. And start off easy, start on your own at lower speeds, and then gradually, as your confidence improves, start to do it at higher speeds, and then in more of a group setting. Practice makes perfect. It does. We hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's helped you in some way or another. If it has, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and drop in the comment section what your favourite thing to eat on the bike is. Oh yeah, I think my I'm not one. even going to ask you, Connor, because it's going to be so really weird, isn't it? I think my favourite one is like these like cold flapjack things that I make with okay, loads of peanut not, butter. that's not too weird. Don't cook them, you just put them in the fridge. Oh, just, oh, I remember just absolutely smashing these. I do, they were so tasty, I used to have them in like the first hour of my ride and I'd have nothing left for the end. <laughs> but anyway, interesting to hear your thoughts and as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.